day 25 and today is just such an emotional day for me. It's epic. I really feel like this morning I already knew that something is really, really big that's happening within me. Um, I had an unexpected conversation with my mom and as I've shared here for weeks now, we've, we've been on and off in conversation where She's very angry that I say that um, families is not loving. She's very angry that I say that. Um, and she has put me down and she has called me names and she has basically, you know, made me feel or made me feel, nobody makes us feel anything, but I mean, it just goes right into me, my inner child and, you know, that I'm abnormal, that I'm, not normal, you know, all that stuff. And today, you know, through a text, exchange of text messages, she again said that, you know, this is sick. I don't understand. It makes my head spin. How can you say that love is, that, that family is pain and abuse and everything? Family is loving. And then I just said to her, is you know, do you lo love my father? Does he love you? Does my father love us? Was beating, was your father loving you? Was beating love? Was abuse love? Was calling names love? Was our father beating us and abusing us and call calling us names? Uh, was that love? Was um, the fact that he abandoned us, is that love? you know, just like all this stuff came out and um, and she was quiet for a while and then she came back and said, I see that now, it's not love. And, and you know, she just put an emoji that I think she probably couldn't find the words. And in that moment, I feel like my DNA changed. There's something that changed on a cellular structure of my being on a cellular level because she stopped pushing it down my throat that this was love you know it became such a liberation for me that that I mean, I already knew I'm onto something. I already knew that I speak truth and I actually wrote that to her. I said, I speak the truth. You're just the one, you can take it. But I think her admitting, her admitting that the cycle of abuse is not love was such a big sort of relief for me because it just touches everything in my life. It made me understand in that moment what my true purpose here is, is to teach people how to connect to what real love is, which is our own source of love within. That's true love. And it feels good in our body. What was sold to us as love and patriarchal family systems and family values where you keep secrets, where you cower down, um, to violence, to oppression, where you just accept it, where you keep your place, you remain small, you're afraid to speak up, you're afraid to step in your power, you disempower yourself because it will be not received well. That's not love. That's not love. I'm sorry. Patriarchal family is not love. We had no fucking idea what love was. And we keep on looking for it, right? The longing is there, the longing for that something, for, for connection, for that missing piece. It's there. We keep on looking for it. Achievement, money. You know, I I stopped looking for it from my husband, but I started looking at for it, looking for it from my business. How many people? How many clients? How much money? I mean, I'm I'm living with all that now, that it's not there. It's not there. It's not on the outside. And then we reject ourselves every time there isn't enough money or isn't enough clients or isn't enough love from 
the loved ones. My father not speaking to me, my father abandoning me and my sister when he left our mother after 40 something years of happy marriage, that's not love. I don't doubt that somewhere in his being, he's, he loves me and he's loved us, you know, that I don't really doubt that. But the fact that I am still looking for it on the outside, like we all do, that's just a big lie. And I think when we finally understand that family is not love, that relationships are not about love, it's a laboratory for growth where we actually understand that love is not gonna come from anyone on the outside, that the actual purpose of everything is for us to realize nobody can give us love, we can get love from outside, and that love is within, and we just need to understand how to connect to it. And we keep on looking to have these amazing connections, you know, authentic and, vulnerable and forever how when we're disconnected from our own hearts how can we build relationships that are connected with other people when we're not connected to our own heart when we're guarded and we're closed and we're closed off from our own love supply how how can we connect to that and so, so much of our suffering is, is because we keep on waiting for it to come from a mother or a father or a partner or children. It's not going to come from there. We, we are the ones. We need to find that love is not, is not that punishing father or punishing mother or punishing partner. That's not love. Love is within and it has to we need to unlearn all the destructive conditioning we've inherited and just learn how to connect to our own heart, how to go back to our body, how to understand what love feels like, connect to our own heart, stop pinching ourselves from our own love supply, thinking that we're not worthy because we're not perfect, and then connect to people from that space. The only way we can we can re rebuild life, the only way we can live in love, the only way we can prevent guns where no gun control will be necessary is to stop living thinking that love was what our parents were supposed to give us and they no human parents just know how. So we try to revenge or we try to compensate looking for that love on the outside or rebelling against the parents that couldn't give us that love, that had no clue what that love was. Yeah. When we connect to our own love supply, we don't need to go and buy guns for protection or for revenge. just such a big 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 deal you know what I'm experiencing today and, and just in parallel to my conversations with my mom and also having conversations with my girls and trying to learn what love is together and they're learning to understand that I I didn't know any better because of the way I was raised and what was sold to me as love. And more and more what love feels like toward my girls is to allow them to dream, not to stick them into tiny, smelly, moldy boxes of what it means to be a girl at 20 and 23. to let them dream the way my parents couldn't allow me to dream because they were looking at the financial limitations or material limitations, or because I was a woman, or because we were immigrants, or because we were Jews, or because, you know, 
boxes, 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 boxes. I'm trying to free my girls from these boxes, but of course I cannot do it until I free myself from my own boxes. And that's the work, you know, that's the work. To break out of the boxes and teach everyone else how to do that. Love is not what we saw in our families. Not, nobody in our families knew what love is. Unless you really had some incredibly progressive parents. Some of us maybe did have those. But I think overall as society, as humanity, we just are not yet on that level of understanding, of expanded consciousness where we know what love is. We're just learning now. And until we understand what that feels like in our body, until we connect to our heart and understand what it feels like to be flooded with such expansive, warm, incredible feeling, how can we learn anyone else what it means to love, right? How can we teach anyone else what it means to love? How can we share what it feels like love? Yeah. Anyway, it was an incredibly emotional morning for me and I just, um, <laughs> I also, incredible timing. I happen to be today and tomorrow in a um, virtual retreat with Susie Ashworth and we're talking about in infinite receiving. And of course, you know, it's taken me 10 years to even understand what the hell that means. To understand that I, you know, until I'm boarded up and scared and in protective mode and blaming people who didn't know how to love me, I cannot receive love. And what's happening in my, you know, in my own relationship with my husband and my children right now is just so incredible because as I learn to receive energetically, everything is shifting, everything. Anyway, thanks for being here. I'll be back tomorrow, but so much clarity is coming to me around why I had to go through what I went through, all the pain and suffering and fear. And just, I just thought that I went through such scary things. Um, it's becoming more and more clear why. So, and it's so incredible also that I, you know, decided to do these hundred days of sharing and who knows where it's going to take me, but I'm here for it. So if anybody's here, thank you. See you tomorrow.